looking at real life smiling critters art boxes. Family dog day is stuck in the toxic lava. And there is nothing we can do to get him out of it. In today's video, we look at a diorama of a real life dog day from Poppy Playtime 3. A clay room of Kane's realm of fear from the amazing digital circus. Oh no! Then we have a jack with his head caught off. That does not look fun. Ah, and even for me getting eaten by a real life skippity toilet. Oh, the skippity toilet character is trying to cut Pompney in half. These are the craziest dioramas you've ever seen. And at the very end of today's video, we show you even crazier art pieces that are top secret. Dippy Nuggy says smash like on today's video or else you are gonna lose your hat. At school? At the movies? Playing outside? Cause if you lose your hat, Dippy Nuggy says he will not share his with you. Unless you have a super tiny head like him. Maybe you can steal his. We'll get 5,000 likes on today's video! Uh, Dippy Nuggy, we can't get 5,000 likes on today's video. That is a lot. Maybe we can get five likes on this video if the family really helps out. We'll only probably get one or two, right? Oh, look at this, family. This is our first realistic art diorama. And it's about the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, this is a very secret Amazing Digital Circus art box. And this is called Kane's Room of Fear. Why is it called Kane's Room of Fear, you might ask? Oh, family, maybe because it's uh scary. Oh man, I don't want to see what's about to happen to Kane. Here we have Kane sleeping on the couch. He is not floating, he is not popping bubble, he is just chilling and apparently getting his teeth brushed. <laughs> Kane is brushing his teeth in his sleeve. Uh oh, but here comes somebody a little bit more evil than Kane, Mr. Jax. Oh. And family Jax doesn't look normal right now. His body is super long and skinny. Kind of like a lollipop stick. And why is his body coming out of Kane's hat? I guess bunny rabbits do come out of magician's hat, but uh, not that kind. We do not approve. Oh man, <gasps> look at this. Here is a stairwell that we're putting inside of Kane's room. And on the bottom is supposed to be a fireplace. But uh, family, I don't think that's any regular spanky fireplace that fireplace is filled with glitch the fireplace is abstracted or maybe that's not an abstracted fireplace maybe Kofbo is hiding inside of there but i don't know about you family hiding inside of a fireplace mm, not a good idea unless you're trying to get burned or pop some popcorn but instead of the popcorn being made out of corn the popcorn will be made from your popping eyeballs okay here we have a very spooky black cat and i am pretty T sure those are for bad luck. Uh-oh. But the cat is wearing a gangle mask. And wait, what is this? We have Kinger made into a stick? Family, Kinger doesn't have his regular body. He's made into a pipe that's connected to the clothes washer. Uh, are they trying to say Kinger's stinky? And oh, perfect. Just the thing I want to wash my clothes with. Laundry detergent not made out of soap, but made out of Kofmo's head. I don't think he will clean the clothes. I think he'll just scare them. Then we got a box of toys that is super fun and made of of, uh, Zoopal! Uh, why is their body split into a million different Lego pieces? That is not the kind of blocks I want to play with. And then here we have it, family, the final transformation of Kane's secret room of fear. First we got Kane. Oh, oh no! Then we got Pomni! How'd you get there, girl? Oh no! Then we have a Jax with his head cut off. That does not look fun. Speaking of fun, next up we have another spooky realistic diorama. But this time, instead of being of the Amazing Digital Circus, it's of the Smiling Critters. And family, I'm gonna let you guess which Smiling Critter we're making this diorama of. I'll give you another hint. It's made out of clay. It's an animal that you may or may not have as a pet at home. He has very big floppy ears and maybe even, and maybe even says the occasional... Woof, woof. No, oh, family. I think you already guessed it. Because we are sculpting the smiling critter Dog Day. Oh, but not the regular version of Dog Day. Because this version looks very scary. Okay, so we're painting on the dog colored face and the dog colored ears. Dog's fur can be lots of different colors, but Dog Day happens to be orange. Oh, no. Now we're coloring in his evil eyes. Do you 
usually people's eyeballs are white. But Dog Day's evil eyeballs happen to have no soul. Just the way we like them. Now paint a little more to put the ketchup on his teeth. Ugh. And now we're coloring them in not white, but a creamy orange. Teeth aren't supposed to be that color. Unless you let them soak in some gasoline. Oh, perfect, perfect. They're rotting even more and we're coloring them in black. But wait a second, family. What are we painting next? This does not look like it belongs to Dog Day. Ooh, it's his creepy eyeballs and some stuff to stuff in his tummy. Okay, fluff, 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 curve, 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 add in a spring and take off chunks of his ears. Okay, I don't know what that liquid is, but it does not look good. Oh no, oh no, we're chaining Dog Day to a pole and now he's stuck inside of this poison lava juice just like a prisoner family dog day is stuck in the toxic lava and there is nothing we can do to get him out of it except go and try and save him or something but pfft, we're not gonna do that we have more chicken nuggies to eat Duh. all right all right next up we're making a super realistic art diorama of i think it's Pomni! Or, wait a second, that just looks like a really old, creepy wall. Uh, that looks like a face of a human, but I'm not sure who yet. It doesn't really look like Pomni, to be honest, because Pomni's face is more round, and this face is more, um, like, chiseled and evil. Ugh, and very, very wrinkly! Excuse me, sir, are you sure you're a human, or just a triple-up raisin? Okay, more wrinkles, more wrinkles, more wrinkles, more wrinkles, pop more more eyeballs in that kind of look like pieces of bubble gum. Uh, baby Nuggy, I think you would like this next part because we are now creating a toilet. Sounds like something you would do. Um, are those lightning bolts or, uh, sticks to poke people with? Because those things look sharp and not very fun. <gasps> Whoa, wait a sec. What is this? Wait, that kind of looks like a speaker. And now we're attaching it to the toilet. Uh, wait a sec. Is this some type of skippity toilet? toilet character that we don't know about because i'm starting to think that's what we're making Ooh, now we're making another person and their outfit kind of looks like pomni's clothes okay we're adding in the eyeballs the hair oh family 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 i think this is definitely pomni whoa and now she's looking super realistic oh man it's definitely pomni look she just put on her hat her jester hat not a clown okay here we have the unfinished version of Pomni, but she is not yet colored in. So now comes the fun part of painting her. Okay, we gotta paint the red stripes and the blue stripes. Oh, bye, Dippy Duggy. Guess this part was too creepy for him. Okay, now we're coloring in the blue. Ooh, and the yellow details. We even colored in her lips all red. And wait a sec, why are we coloring in her hair black? I thought her hair was brown. Oh, there's some blush for her face. Oh, jump scare, jump scare. Family, this is definitely one of the Skippity Toilet characters. I forget what his name is. If you remember who that is, comment down his name below. Because I have no idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That looks like a giant chainsaw. Oh, and Pomni is getting caught inside of it. Family, the Skippity Toilet character is trying to cut Pomni in half. Bro, that is not very very nice. If you're gonna cut something in half, at least make it tasty like a cake or something. Cause cutting open a human is just waste. Couldn't have even been a pizza or something. All right, family, we have made it to the part of the video where we have these secret art box characters. Okay, you have to guess which character you think this is. I will give you a hint to help you out. He's an animal, and he's also from a recent very popular movie. And not only is he from a recent popular movie, he also is from a bunch of different video games that you have probably played before. Oh, man, family, did I give too much away? Oh, he looks really spooky. And look at those ears. And look at that hat. Family, I'll give you another hint. He's a bear. And his name may rhyme with Eddie Castair. Do you know who it is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whatever character you already know, this is like a hundred times more evil. This is the evil, corrupt version of this character. Family, did you guess it? It's an evil version of Freddy Fazbear. Oh, man. Look. His mouth is wide open ready to eat people his tummy is also open too and since when did it grow a mouse his eyeballs are blue he has green mold growing outside of him oh <gasps> and 
look, there's all of his wires coming out because Freddy is an animatronic. Okay, pop Freddy inside of this glass container. Do little science-y things. I don't know what they were doing. Gluing, gluing, adding, dripping, evil liquid. Oh no, no, don't put Freddy inside the evil liquid. What is that gonna do to him? <gasps> Whoa, okay, even though I know this is bad, it also looks really cool. <gasps> and now family, here's the final touches. We're adding the Freddy cup into this container and chaining him up. Freddy, you're chained inside of this evil liquid. But at least you have pretty lights around you. Really makes your skin go pop. And soon after staying inside of that evil liquid for a long time, I think your body is gonna go pop too. Ooh. Next secret art character. Mm, this is another character from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But this time it's one of Freddy's friends. Okay, who do we think it's gonna be? Mm, not too sure. We have a face. We have very square teeth. Okay. Oh, wait a sec. Those look like bunny ears. Family, what bunnies are in Five Nights at Freddy's? Okay, there's um Foxy. No, no, he's a fox. Freddy, no, he's a bear. Oh, chicken. Jacob? No, she's chicken. Oh, wait a sec. Do you think this could be Springtrap? You know, the super evil villain that's like the most evil one of all? And if it is Springtrap, that is definitely not one of Freddy's friends. Oh, man. We're molding this clay to look like whatever evil version of Five Nights at Freddy's character we've made. It's a bunny. His mouth is open. He has lots of weird looking arms and legs. He's kneeling down. Why is he standing like that? He does not look comfortable. Okay, time to color him in and oh, Billy, it's definitely Springtrap because Springtrap is yellow and green, just like the colors we're painting. And do you see what they're painting him with? They're painting him with some like spray airbrush thing. Whoa, that makes the colors look so cool. Okay, color, color, color. Trace, trace, trace. Adding all the cracks and breaking things because Springtrap is very old and almost oofed. <gasps> oh! One of his ears is coming off. Was that like that in the movie? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, we're adding a lot of wires coming out of him because just like Freddy, Springtrap is an animatronic. And it looks like we finished making the Springtrap character. But family, remember, this is an art box video. So that means we have to add in this Springtrap character inside some kind of art box. <gasps> Ooh, and it looks like we already did. Okay, we're in a box. Wait, is that a cannon? Family cannons shoot out metal or giant ball things. And it looks like it's hitting Springtrap's tummy. Ah, what? Okay, that one's gotta hurt. And now, family, we have one more secret character from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Okay, okay, this one might be a little bit harder to guess. This one is another animatronic, but it might be one that you are not thinking of. Oh, man. Why does he kind of look like a werewolf? I was really hoping it would be somebody cute like Chica, but I don't think that's who it is. Okay, we got evil face, evil fur, very evil teeth, and a giant mouth that is waiting for hot Cheetos. Well, either they want hot Cheetos or a hot or a very spicy chickenito. Baby donkey, that is you. Okay, attach the body onto the head. This is really cool, family. Whoever is making these art creations is seriously talented because all of this was made out of clay. Imagine trying to make this crazy shape and animal and spookiness out of clay yourself. This must have taken him like hours and hours to make. Oh, oh no! This animal has a hook as an arm! Family, oh man, I think I know who this is. There's only one fox in Five Nights at Freddy's. And that is our boy, F -f 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 Foxy. And that is exactly who we're m -m 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 making right now. Oh, Foxy, what happened to your eyeball? What happened to your chest? What happened to your mouth? Why does it look like you got a bunch of cherry soda in there? And why does your eyeball have no pupil? Okay, now we're adding the evil Foxy inside of the art box. <gasps> Ooh, and giving him pasta? Wait, I guess even evil foxies are hungry too. 
Oh, wait a second. That wasn't pasta. Those were chains because we're chaining the evil Foxy inside of the art box. Okay, that was the picture as the inspiration. And this is the final product. Whoa. Emily, which one of these Five Nights at Freddy's boxes was your favorite? Or do you have a favorite art box from this whole video? Comment down below. Go get your own baby nuggy, saucy nuggy, or dippy nuggy plushie at shopflexia.com and go get the limited edition family hoodie before it sells out. Me and baby nuggy love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.